We request our esteemed guest, Olympian Kwesi Ganapati, sailor, 49er class, to join the team on the field. May I now request everyone to kindly stand up for the national anthem. Thank you everyone. We will now have the team handshakes. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back with the third final of the day and this time, uh, sorry, the fourth final of the day and this time it's a girls in action. We'll shortly update you about the teams. Stay tuned, this is a fine, this is going to be a fine encounter of two reckoning forces. So it's a Bentic Higher Secondary School for Girls in Orange. While the NLC Higher Secondary Girls in Purple. May I now request the captains and match officials for the coin toss and pennant exchange. This will be an intense encounter. The two captains are all set for the toss. A prized frame, a prized frame for both. A moment Thank that will be cherished. Both team captains. It's now time to begin the match. Let's make some noise. All the best to both the teams. Starting 11 for NLC. Renuka, Kirtana, Kavirtana, Kaviratana, Dharanika, ACN. Vani, Gayatri, Gayatri M, Kiritika, Kanimozi, and Evangeline. We're in for Bentik Higher Secondary School. Well, I guess the game is going to start a bit too sooner. Still waiting for the playing 11 of Bentic High Secondary School. But it seems like they'll be starting the contest. So on the screen, from the left to the right, we have NLC Higher Secondary School, wherein from the right to the left, we have Bentic. So it's Bentic who gets us underway in the fourth final of the day. And this is the final for the girls. Two incredibly talented teams, two high potential teams, two teams of terrific caliber wants to take the mantle for the girls in Chennai.
chance for NLC, but Bentic will clear away the lines. Ball stays with NLC. Bit of a hasty exchange. Nobody's pressing the ball, and eventually it goes out for a corner. Not pretty happy with this move. The Bentic defenders. Goes for the corner, but this time a bit too haywire on it. Sends the ball forward. A chance there for NLC to break free. Has created that space. Can they shoot? They shoot and they sails it wide. The defenders were in marking. And the chance came out of nowhere. It's going to be a goal kick for Bentic High. For Bentic High Secondary Senior School. Sends the ball, it's fallen to NLC already. NLC just trying to clear the ball. They have a chance, takes the shot and shoots it away. NLC is right now all over Bentic at the moment. And Bentic is unable to break free. There's just two minutes on the clock. Okay. Goes for the goal kick. Bentic once again concedes possession to NLC at a very crucial juncture, but this time the Bentic defenders will take care of it. NLC trying to keep the ball in their play. Too many players behind one ball there. Sends the ball forward. And now, Bentic has a chance to break free, but slams straight into the defender. Bentic clearing their lines. It's going to be a throw-in in favor of NLC. NLC has seemed pretty solid so far in the first three minutes of the contest. And some decent defending, trading it away for a corner. Oh, sorry for a throw-in. chance that the ball will eventually go out so it's another corner in favor of NLC can they make good use of this they had a couple of shots already both of them were off target whips in that cross and the ball almost rolled into the back of the net it had a vicious curl he would have been an incredible Olympico but it wasn't and it's another corner, so it's taken a deflection. It's a corner from the other end this time. Can they find something from this corner? Takes a very team one. Takes a shot. Now oh, it was dipping again. But it didn't dip as much as they would have wanted. This was the chance. It's good to see that I, that she took a uh, shot on the turn, showing a confidence. having a chance obstruction there from the defenders a long shot coming in from NLC and it would go away for a goal kick Ulla 
NLC and Bentic High duking it out for the all-important prize in the grand finale of the girls section. Well, the throw is going to go the other way. So Bentic is going to take the throw in. And the ball goes out another throw. So NLC will have some time to push further, further women forward. But the throw wasn't as decent as they would have wanted. Quick pass being played. Tries to keep the ball in possession. NLC has it. And they'll be putting forward. She's being blocked from the sides. The referee says play on. She had a slight protest to the same. Tries to bring the ball down. And the player has been knocked out in the process. A quick throw. NLC still has the ball in their favor. Can they get a shot out of there? Passes it. Creates some space. Tries to play it to the player on the far left. But not to much avail. Bentik High has a chance to break free. But the ball's fallen back for NLC. A brilliant dribble. Allows her to go to the sides. Well, it's decent defending. But then again, she's managed to get the ball shot. <coughs> Taken flies wide what Bentic has supposedly done decent so far is that they have crowded their box they have almost all their players inside the box that is averting NLC to actually set themselves free Bit of a push and a show there will do them some good. A chance there for NLC. They found the ball at the far right, sends across. Chance for the ball to be defended, and it's found the back of the net. Poor defending. The defender kind of gave up. The striker was always in hunt of the ball, showing a decent example of a predatory instinct, and has eventually gone ahead in the final for the girls. We'll quickly take a look at this shot. There you go. A fine cross. There, the defender just chest traps it. Very casually sends another foot forward, hoping that the ball will be stopped. Anyway, these are learning blocks, so it's all right. She'll have to learn that probably from now on, she won't be doing a chest track and just leaving it that way. But nevertheless, a decent goal from NLC. And they keep on driving forward. But Bentik eventually putting in the numbers again. He has the lead and they'll now look to build from here. They'll now like to get some momentum for themselves and stitch together crucial passes in the middle or probably try and test their luck from distance. Bentik. They've tried but they haven't been able to shrug off NLC in the half so far. In this half so far. Once again, the ball's fallen for NLC. An attempt to get the ball in, and it'll go out for a goal kick in favor of Benedict. Bentic, my bad. Okay, 
Again, and LC has the ball for themselves. They're looking for a shot, goes for it. Again, drags it wide. Right now, Bentek Higher Secondary School hasn't got any answer to all the domination stitched by NLC at the moment. It's going to be a goal kick in favor. Of Bentic. They take it, but it goes as twist and turns. Has to create the ball forward. Does it efficiently? Opportunity for NLC again. To break free, there's a player on the far right. She'll be looking forward for the cross. Sends the cross in. Doesn't get the connection that she would have wanted. It was almost a tap in, but the cross had a bit too much pace than the strike would have expected. A chance for NLC again, sends in the cross, floats away, a collision with the goalkeeper, but the goalkeeper, oh, 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 the goalkeeper's a bit fortunate there, and NLC still has the ball with them. And now Bentik has the chance to break forward. Decent work to put the ball through the legs, not make the opposition. Bit of a shove and a push. Ball still stays, stays in control. Chance for NLC again, looking for some shot. Goes for the shot. The goalkeeper was stationed at the other end. And the ball rolls into the back of the net. He has to pick it up for the second time. Look at this. A fine touch. Flips apart the defense with that one touch. And goes for the shot. It's 2-0 for NLC. And they are cruising at the moment. Bentek not really able to force their way forward. A chance for NLC now. Can they get something for themselves? Can they get the third goal? Well, they are trying already. Chance for NLC. There's a lot of space for them to cut back. Uh, I guess the pass had a bit too much weight on it. NLC still with the ball. Can they take another shot? Well, as we say this, this contest is brought to you by the live channel, by the official YouTube channel of Reliance Foundation Youth Sports. So it's an humble request from our end to go ahead and 
uh, you go ahead and sh like, share, and subscribe. At the moment, as we see the contest between Bentic High Secondary School and NLC, NLC has just got the ball for themselves. They have some shooting space ahead. They want to take the shot, can they? Well, they couldn't keep the ball in control. Here's a chance again. It's going to be a free kick in favor of Bentek now. Bentek high. NLC still trying to get something out of the move. Uh, it's 16 minutes on the clock. They have a two-goal advantage. Two fine goals being scored. Uh, they had some help from the opposition as well because their defenders couldn't keep it out. And it was a bit of a scramble defending. A bit too sloppy. And that allowed them to take the lead. NLC on the run again. Uh, wanted to play the ball towards the center but couldn't. And now the ball has found its player. Takes a step. Plays it till the far right. Keeps the ball in her control. Can she take a cross? No, she won't be able to. Bente keeping the ball in their possession now. Plays it forward. NLC has got the ball back. Takes the shot. It's in the air but it won't be dipping towards the goal. It'll go away. Again, the ball's fallen back for NLC. The entire game has so far been dictated by NLC as the score line would suggest. They're leading the game by two goals to nil and very deservedly so. Another cross comes in and the ball's rattled the woodwork. An attempt to head the ball into the back of the net. It's not yet clear. Chance and it's found the back of the net this time. It's 3-0 for NLC. It's all over the place. And it's now getting a bit tormenting there for Bentic. This was the opportunity. A fine shot. The defense was totally out of its position. <laughs> and the ball rolls into the back of the net. will eventually go out of play for a throw-in now. Well, there will be another throw. That will be taking place here. Sends it quickly. Plays it forward. NLC is trying to stitch together a few balls now. few balls. Plays a lovely pass down the central channel. As, as accurate as it gets, as clinical as it gets. 
Bentik won't. Bentik will like to keep the ball in their control for a while, uh, but it doesn't seem like NLC is going to probably allow it. Fine ball created. A nice run there, NLC, if they can lay claim, but very well defended in the end by Bentik. Bentik has seemed decent in defending, but in the three goals that have scored, they somehow man like they somehow were caught napping. The ball's fallen back for NLC again. As the story of the half goes, it's been NLC throughout the contest. And they keep coming, digging for more. Send the ball forward. He goes for a shot for some range. The goalkeeper pulling off a fine save and will eventually go away for a corner. This was the chance. A brilliant shot. The goalkeeper ensuring that the ball didn't roll into the back of the net. A chance for a corner. NLC. Can they quadruple their lead now? Whips in the corner, uh, but heads it out. And a player has fallen down, most likely while she was trying to defend. Uh, she lost her footing and took a tumble. The referee going to her attention. <laughs> going to be a goal kick for Bentik at the moment. And the goal kick was taken. The ball's fallen back for NLC. Chance but ousted of the possession. A last minute intervention. Allowed NLC. Or allowed Bentik to at least keep the ball away from the goal for the time being. Opportunity. Bente, can they find out? They almost got the ball in a very dangerous zone, uh, but that won't be anything significant. Now NLC sends the ball forward, uh, but this time a bit. Miscued of a hit there. A throw in back for Bentik. <laughs> NLC on the move. Uh, but nothing uh, so far from the center line. So the last few minutes have seen Bentik coming out of their half. Now mainly crowding out the center line that was not even evident in the first uh, 20 minutes of the game as we enter the final five minutes of the first half it's interesting to see how bentic responds to the three early goals of nlc 
they would most likely want to go to the half without any further goal being conceded. That should be the idea for sure. And Bentek almost ended up getting the possession in the midway with the goalkeeper off her position, like with off a line. So that could have been catastrophic for NLC, but they have a three goal lead right now. So they still have the ball with them. They had acres of space to search forward, but they eventually didn't. Sends the ball forward. Initially felt the Bentic player chasing it would eventually miss it out because the ball rolls out by Whiskers. Ball's being played to the far right. It's fallen back to NLC. Decent defending there. <clears throat> it's back for NLC again. <clears throat> Stitching together a few important passes. Well, they are now playing it backwards, so it's most likely is a new strategy that they are trying to deploy here. Decent pass. Sends it forward. A nice one-two. She's kept the ball in play. And she's now heading towards the six-yard box. But decent defending from Bentic. She couldn't control the ball there, NLC. Had a chance, but it felt that she went a bit too far away from the ball. Decent passing. But again, the control wasn't as solid as the pass that should have been. A tussle on the sidelines. NLC has got the ball now in their favor. She needs some help. A decent, brilliant ball. The help did arrive. Time for NLC to find a way. They played it back again. Now they're playing it forward. And NLC win this ball they have. And they are keeping the major part of the possession. It's good to see that they are stitching these passes. And these passes are actually... It's, it's a good to see football showing the confidence in themselves. Not really interested in pushing forward straight away. They're going to build the passes, grow the confidence. Plays it to the right. The ball still stays with NLC. Chance for an but Bentic has taken the ball back. But again, it will go as far as an NLC player in the attacking unit. Well, the last two minutes has been entirely owned by NLC only through matters of passes. I'm pretty sure they must have stitched at least. 20 to 25 passes amongst themselves and all perfectly stitched which tells you about the accuracy about the small tactics that these two teams are resorting to at the moment Chance for NLC now. 
very simply keeping the ball in possession and uh, just playing it to their own half. Bentick isn't even chasing. Well defended, but the ball's fallen back for NLC again. One minute of added time. NLC just hoping to unleash a shot. Before the first half gets over. And this is some terrific football from NLC. Look at this. Look at the confidence they have in the past. And that's the end of the first half. A fine first half comes to an end with NLC securing the lead by three goals to nil against Bentic Higher Senior Secondary School. Do not go anywhere. We'll shortly return to you with our prize distribution ceremony for the senior boys, for the senior school boys. We are the scorers. It's Kaviratana with a brace and Dharanika with the goal in the 19th minute. Stay tuned while we return with our prize distribution ceremony. Foundations Youth Post 2022. That was a great game. Congratulations to both the teams for entertaining us. May I now invite onto the field our dignitary for the match presentation ceremony, Olympian Casey Ganapati, Sailor, 49er class, Tokyo 2020 Olympics participant and bronze medalist at the 18 Asian Games. RFIS would like to thank the All India Football Federation, Tamil Nadu Football Association, participating schools, parents and coaches for letting these students perform in this uh, tournament. The player of the match for today's game is Praveen from Don Bosco High Secondary School. Let's cheer for him. We have the prize distribution ceremony all set. Here's the player of the match award. Thank you, thank you, Praveen, and well played today. For the final that was played, and now, now we the Golden Globe. Bring our top individual performers for the Golden Glove award. It was a tie Go between school. N. Dinesh from Don Bosco High Secondary School and Pandi from JJ Government High Secondary School. However, by way of countback, the winner of the Golden Glove Award goes to M. Dinesh of Don Bosco High Secondary School. M. Dinesh from Don Bosco High Secondary School. A phenomenal tournament indeed. Goes to Sandeep from JJ Government and High now Secondary School. It's time for the golden ball. And it goes to Sandeep. But it's a golden boot. And it goes to Sandeep of the JJ Government Boys High Secondary School. For his consistent performance throughout the tournament, the Golden Ball Award. And now it's the Golden Ball. It's the same JJ player. High Secondary School. Was unfortunate to lose out on penalties. 
but eventually the kind of domination that he has pitched throughout the span of the tournament he deserves this award totally definitely the second best team in chennai led by logesh k we would like to invite the runner up team jj government high secondary school team coach and captain will collect the crown and now we have the runners up for chennai jj government boys high secondary school we had a amazing tournament and the deserved winners of the medal of the silver medal unfortunate that they couldn't find the gold just that it all came down to the wheel of fortune a decent learning phase for all of these young kids Pretty decent effort. From these youngsters. Unfortunate that they couldn't. Coach and captain will now collect the crown. Fine moment. Well built team. Well coached. And here's the grant for JJ Government Boys Model School. They've done a pretty decent job. And now we call the crown winners of Chennai. Team Don Bosco High Secondary School, Perambur to come forward. The senior boys in school. Who else? Then Don Bosco High Secondary School. Phenomenal tournament. Eventually riding on some luck as they secured the tiebreaker in their favour. Excellent goalkeeping, nonetheless. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for the champions of Chennai. Don Bosco Higher Secondary School. Captain Graveen and the team coach will collect the covered silverware and the grant. And here's the trophy and the grant. For the champions of Chennai. Don Bosco Higher Secondary School. Stay tuned, we'll return to you with the second half of the girls' finale that is ongoing at the moment, where an NLC has a 3 0 lead over the Bentic High, high, Bentic high Secondary School.
We are back for the second half of the contest. Uh, well, it was a foul center that was done. So once again, NLC will kick start proceedings this time. They have a 3-0 lead for themselves. And Bentik will clear it away for a throw. A chance for NLC again and cleared away. Chance for NLC again. They keep the ball in their possession. Bit of a scrappy uh, start again with NLC doing all the talking. They're looking forward for more goals for sure. Actually creating the infringements but not with the required power and precision. They have a chance again. They have some space ahead but then staved away by the opposition. But then NLC has got the ball back now. Very decent work. Chance for them to shoot. Can they take the shot? Deflected away by the defender, so he'll go away for a goal kick uh, for a corner kick. Corner. It will be floated in by NLC. Was a firm lead at the moment and will like to bolster from there. Gets in the corner. And the ball struck the woodwork and returned. It initially felt that it's gone to the back of the net. And eventually the danger zones has been cleared as the referee has blown his whistle. Blown her whistle, sorry. chance there brilliantly another opportunity coming all the way but NLC, but this time Bentic defense making sure that the ball didn't get through to the player at the other end and now Bentic has the first possible chance going their way can they utilize it they'll need numbers up forward and while we say this NLC manages to put the required numbers up forward Chance there. Sends the shot in for NLC and the ball goes away. The ball's still in the play actually. And it's gone into the back of the net. The entire defense switched off. What a lapse is this? The entire defense kind of gave up thinking that the ball's gone out of play and apparently there wasn't any whistles. It's goal number four for NLC.
while we talk there nlc right now has a 4-0 lead and are in cruise control of the contest benti khayasini secondary school they do not have any wind in their sails at the moment it seems that they have entirely switched off the goal that they conceded that probably was uh, the worst goal to consider i mean they just gave up thinking that the ball's gone out of play and the ball was pretty much inside NLC made decent use. A shooting opportunity again goes for the shot, and what a finish! This is the best goal of the day so far. NLC extends their lead to a five-goal lead now. The difference keeps on accentuating. There were two defenders on her tail, but she—they weren't able to snatch the ball away. It gets tougher and tougher from here on. While we talk about with the ball they're doing some nice footwork there they are just trying to keep the ball in their control they have a five goal lead now they've already scored two in the second half They just like to keep things in control. They are in no kinds of hurry at the moment. They'll play the smallest end of passes together. The ball is now being rolled amongst the players of NLC at the moment. Uh, there isn't any hurry for them as they know. They're just stitching together small passes. They're clearly opening up the spaces behind as the Bentic players. They're just cheating, they're chasing shadows. In fact, they aren't, they aren't even chasing. It's Look at this, they aren't even chasing. Once the ball goes, the ball just goes away. Look at this chance. They, have, they haven't got the faintest of idea where the ball is. See, whatever is coming their way are from the missed passes of NLC. Chance there for Bentic High to unleash their first shot, but such a team effort comfortably collected by the NLC Castilian. Place the ball forward. Sends it to the far right. And now snatches the ball. Quickly flips it in. Chance for Bentic High to break. They're on a chase. Can they win the race of the ball? No, they won't. The ball's rolled out. Now the goal kick. There's a change happening for Bente and It's number five. Coming on in place of number six.
For the first time, Bentik High has started touching the ball in the opposition half. Until now, it was all NLS. And now Bentik High, can they produce something from here? They have 20 minutes remaining, even if they are not able to equalize, but at least maybe a couple of goals. Carve a strong statement from here on. They'll take that. It's 41 minutes on the clock. It's 5-0 in favor of NLC. And Bentik High has still to register a shot on target. At least they have started coming out in numbers the opposition half and now that has left their defense vulnerable as NLC can search forward and has eventually managed to keep the ball in their possession plays it to the far right who will win the rest a great opportunity then it seals it wide Goal kick for Bentek High. Chance for NLC again. Bentek High ended up spilling away possession way too easily. NLC has snatched the ball back and now played it to the far right. Can Bentek High use it? No, they can't. They'll have to crowd it over and prize out a free kick in their favor a prize out to throw in against themselves There's another chance. A shot comes in, but this time the goalkeeper will take it. Ball still with NLC. Shooting chance goes for the shot. The goalkeeper saves it away. Takes a tumble and eventually Bentik High will clear away the lines. A pretty decent effort, a pretty powerful punch back. There, she gets back up after producing that fine save. But the danger is still not over for Bentik as NLC has got the ball in their favor now. Again, NLC comes darting forward. Can Bentik get the possession for themselves? Even for a brief while, uh, at the moment it doesn't seem like, because it's all NLC. <laughs> well, we see this, this contest is brought to you live by the official YouTube channel of Reliance Foundation Youth Sports. So it's an honest request from our end if you could kindly like, share and subscribe to the official YouTube channel. We would continue to deliver such content because we'll be, we'll be able to notify you whenever we are hosting these games and this is probably the biggest youth platform to showcase their talents for all schools and colleges in a particular city. chance this time plays it on the far right it's 
small passes being stitched together here. Throw in there, Bentekai pressing a bit higher than the last half, but again, I don't think it'll have much for them. And now NL NLC had a chance to break free, but then she stepped on the ball, so lost her footing. Corner there for NLC. It was another fine run. A chance to extend their lead to a sixth goal now. But this time, Bentekai will clear away any possible menace on the horizon. Daniel C has again got the ball in their control. NLC has regained possession of the ball and now are on the offensive. But Bentik High has their defense guards high, like defense guards up at the moment. So, not much of a bother there for Bentik High. But again, they have conceded possession back to NLC. Fine ball control in the middle. Plays it back. NLC keeps on pushing forward slowly this time, slowly and steadily. They want to build it from the back, which is a very great sight, in fact. Like, you know, whenever you're playing football, most of the occasions you will find teams pushing forward with everything just for goals. But it's good to see that NLC are actually building the game and eventually a throw in. Well, the ball actually went out of play. Ball played forward by NLC. We are in the final 10 minutes of the contest. Pretty decent second half. They have got two goals as well. So, a total of five goals so far in favor of NLC as they keep on coming closer and closer for a number six. But they would like, again, as we say this, they are building the game. They are building the game in a pretty intense manner. And the player rolls down. Long throw in for NLC. Yeah. 
but most likely NLC attackers won't be reaching there. So Bentek high clearing the ball. And the exchange of a throw in. Quickly twist, rolls and turns. NLC plays it to the far right and it's all NLC so far we, it's just that we don't have a ball possession check but if we actually have a ball possession check you're pretty sure it was gonna be somewhere around 95-5 with NLC dictating the possession by 95 percent they've had the ball they've created the chances and they keep on coming closer and closer they have a five goal lead Bentikai simply chasing shadows. They've just started chasing. Even a few moments back, they weren't chasing as well. And it's getting a bit too frustrating for Bentikai, especially the kind of football that NLC is playing at the moment. Very cool. They're very calm. They're in no hurry to score again. They want the game to look better from here. Fine pass towards the central channel. Another pass played. The number of passes being stitched makes this game an even finer one than it already is. Chance there. For NLC and nobody is stopping them. Apparently, there are times when it feels like as if it's a dead ball. They have, they have, they have so much time on the ball, it feels that somehow there has been a call which has been made, but it's apparently not so. It's just that Bentik High is not at all chasing them and they are comfortable in sitting back and defending. They have a five goal lead, so they do not need to hurry, they do not need to show any urgency. The urgency should come from the other end, wherein the other team has entirely switched off. This would probably give you a proper narrative. Look at this. Nobody closing down on her. They're about to enter the final seven minutes of the contest. NLC not letting go of the possession plays a back pass quickly takes an outside dribble It's a bit uneventful now at the moment. But again, at the end of the day, NLC already has a lead for themselves. So I don't think they need to try out something fancy from here on. They just need to protect the lead. They just want a clean sheet for themselves. They're dictating and dominating. When Bentik High hasn't done much either. A chance for NLC, but they'll probably be playing it back as far as the narration of the game stands. That is exactly what they have done, and they continue to pull off. So, Hey, 
Look at this. Uh, the Ventic player, the Ventic high player, is pretty much rooted to their spot, and NLCs are just playing, just doing some pass practice, just with the entire ground at their disposal. It's something like that. As easy as it gets. Ball has been cut short by Ventic High. Sends it forward straight into the arms of the goalkeeper. The last three minutes of the contest remaining. The final of the girls section. An incredible contest from NLC and VHSS is afoot. Well, an NLC has a 5 0 lead for themselves. Stitches together a short pass and the linesman raises his flag. Bentek High wanted to put a feet on the gas but stopped in their tracks by NLC. Takes a turn, passes it away. Chance for NLC to extend their lead now. They have the chance. The goalkeeper eventually comes out and collects the ball. A little more than 90 seconds remaining in the contest. And NLC now pushes forward. Gets the ball for themselves. The defender wanted to cut it short but was late on the ball. But eventually it does them no harm. We are in the final minute of NLC versus VHSS. Where NLC has a 5 0 lead in their favor. Ball keeps on going. Plays it forward. Propelled midway by Bentek High. NLC's got the ball in their favor, but Bentek High will let it roll out for a throw in. A throw in in favor of NLC. A quick throw in taken. And it's gone out again. So not a throw in. This time for Bentek High. One minute of added time has been given. <laughs> we are almost on the brink of the crowning moment. And the Queens of Chennai. 
Chance for Bendikai. Can they get that goal? Oh. They came knocking in the final few seconds. And the referee has eventually announced that that's it. It is going to be NLC Higher Secondary School to walk away with the championship. It's Kaviratana with a brace, Dharanika with a brace, and eventually Vani getting the 34, getting the goal in the 34th minute to make it a 5-0 route of Bentic Higher Secondary School for girls. Well done, NLC Girls Higher Secondary School. Congratulations in the championship. Do not go anywhere, for we have another finale coming up, and it's the blockbuster contest. Stay tuned. We'll return shortly.